What up, y'all? It's your boy Kofi Serbo, and you're watching Madame Noir. Actually, the first time I heard about it, I saw a tweet um, by Ava. Ava was tweeting that she was looking for the character uh, Ralph Angel. I was like, ooh, she desperate. <laughs> she needs somebody. So randomly, or even divinely, I should say, I got a call from my agent the next day um, that I had an audition. And I thought it was correlated, like maybe like they saw it, or because I, I was like, she was looking for people, a few of my fans like tagged me, but there was like way more tags for, you know, the other people. So I was like, who, how did this, it, but I knew, like I was like, okay. So anyway, I went into the audition um, with Aisha Coley. Uh, it was amazing, you know, and then I met Ava. And when me and her met, it just was, that was it. <laughs> um, I really feel like I, I'm like so synonymous to Ralph Angel. Just, I mean, the fact that he's a young black man, A, is, is, is the biggest, um, you know, correlation. But I feel like I, I think we all deal with the dualities of like personality. He has like the person he is based off the choices he didn't really want to make in the past or, or felt like he had to make. And now he's on the path of really like rediscovering himself and trying to get his identity right and just trying to live right for himself, his, his family and his kids. So I just feel like I really relate to his ambition, like to just be the best him. It was amazing. Oprah is like, everything you could imagine and more. You know, Rutina says it best, she literally is walking advice. You know, just her being is advice. So, I mean, being young, being black, being a human being, just being an entertainer in this, in this, in this industry, in this world, to be able to have somebody like her be a part of my, my journey so intimately and uh, for her to actually care. You know, she doesn't just, you know, support us from afar. She's actually into it. She calls us about dailies and she's just so excited. You know, her energy is like contagious. So it's special, it's very, very special. It's rewarding, you know? Well, it was really organic. Um, I feel like I had a plan. Uh, my mom would walk around with these little three chocolate babies in LA, Hollywood, and people are always like, oh my God, oh my God, like your kid should, you know? And uh, at the Beverly Center, this lady approached my mom who happened to be a really legit agent and uh, she followed through and ever since we've just been in the industry so it started with like commercial work and like print work you know for like little ads and we got older and it progressed to like film and TV and I started like modeling out here with Wilhelmina now it's just just progressing it's just continue to progress and I love it Those is tight All right where'd you get your shoes damn what up boy we got them shoes for you Kicks is one of those things. I just like, everybody just has to see it. Because the storyline sounds simple. It's about this kid who gets a pair of shoes and his shoes get taken. That's the simple storyline. But the messages from the film and what it's really about is like this kid, he's like on a journey to discover his manhood. It's like dealing with hyper masculinity and like just that whole macho thing that I feel like we all, you know, not we all, but that black men are kind of like projected. Like they have to be this and fight for that. You know what I mean? So. I feel like that film, when you watch it, the fact that it's all unknown cast, shout out to Chris, Christopher Meyer, CJ Wallace, uh, Ja King, your last name is Crazy King, I can't. <laughs> but um, it's like, we're all just young, aspiring actors, and we got to come together and create this project on such a like large level, you know? And, and people love it, it's being received so well. So I think it's one of those films you just gotta watch. That film is just gonna be crazy, like, legit, it's gonna be crazy, like crazy. I play Jada Pinkett's love interest in the film. Um, and I mean, Queen Latifah, Lorenz Tate, you know, Tiffany Haddish, uh, Kate Walsh, like it's just so many amazing actors. So I'm just like, to be a part of that cast is special. I love Louisiana, but LA is home. Acting, it's more and more room to express like the fact that I get to be a character and I get to talk and I get to do things. Like modeling I feel is amazing, it's expressive as well, but it's just a little more limited. So acting is like, you know, first love, I, I was acting before I was modeling. <laughs> Facial hair, for now at least. These questions. <laughs> Suits. Older women. Why? Because they know what they want. <laughs> Introvert. Trip on my lady. Hey guys, thank you so much for supporting Madame Noir's YouTube channel. For more, did y'all see? Click here. For celebrity interviews, click here. And for our new series, Ask a Black Man in Los Angeles, click here. And as always, subscribe.